Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, The A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater. You've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. And I, well, I saw it, so I'm going to tell you what I thought of. It's one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Robert Pattinson is the Cape Crusader. My review of the 2022 action superhero film, The Batman. Coming up now. On Halloween, the mayor of Gotham City is murdered by a serial killer who leaves odd riddles at the crime scene and calls himself the Riddler. Police Lieutenant James Gordon has been getting assistance from a masked vigilante known as the Batman, a disguised billionaire, Bruce Wayne. As more bodies begin to pile up, it becomes apparent he's targeting Gotham's elite. The case leads Batman to a nightclub known as the Ice Club Lounge, where he meets a mobster lieutenant called the Penguin and a waitress at the club, Selina Kyle. Batman and Selina form an unlikely alliance as they solve the riddles and begin to realize how deep the secrets they begin to unravel go. So what did I think of the Batman? I thought it's a spectacular superhero film. It's directed by Matt Reeves, best known for directing Cloverfield, Let Me In, and The Last Planet of the Apes trilogy, and he does a terrific job here. The film kicks off in Wayne's second year patrolling the streets as the Cape Crusader, which is a great place to start, as he's not fully formed yet, but has some experience. I also like that we don't have to sit through the entire origin story. Bruce's parents are brought up and are a part of the story, but we don't have to see the infamous alley scene again. If you want, you can see that in like eight other films. The tone here is gritty and dark as it's supposed to be for the character. I love that it takes the mystery film route, giving off vibes of Seven and Zodiac, finally showing more of Batman's detective skills as he tries to solve the case, which is interesting and fun to solve right along with the hero as it unfolds. There are some great action sequences as well between shootouts, brawls, and a wonderful car chase featuring this awesome version of the Batmobile. I love that there are times when Pattinson's Batman is genuinely terrifying, like a horror movie icon coming after their prey. I was also surprised that we get more Batman featured than Bruce Wayne, but it definitely makes sense to the story. The story is smart and complex, and there's a lot to take in, but it never feels padded out or too overstuffed. I was worried when I heard how many of the main characters were featured in one film, but each character does get enough time. The team-up between Batman and Catwoman works well and feels different than what we've seen in the past interactions. The almost three-hour runtime could sound like a chore, but the time flew by and I was always interested in, them in the material. Michael Giacchino's score is incredible and even haunting sometimes as well. The underrated cast all deliver, starring Robert Pattinson, who I feel is one of the best actors working today as Batman slash Bruce Wayne, the reclusive billionaire who protects Gotham City to cope with his past, Zoe Kravitz as Selina Kyle slash Catwoman, the cat burglar who meets Batman while searching for her missing roommate, Paul Dano as the Riddler, the serial killer who starts targeting the Gotham elite and live streams his crimes, Jeffrey Wright as James Gordon, the ally to Batman in the police department, Andy Serkis as Alfred Pennyworth, Bruce's butler and mentor, John Totoro as Carmine Falcone, a Gotham City crime lord, and Colin Farrell as Oswald Cobblepot slash the Penguin, Falcone's lieutenant who operates the Iceberg Lounge. Thrilling, intriguing, ambitious, and entertaining, the Batman stands out in the crowd as one of the best comic book films I've seen in a long time. Number-wise, drumroll please, it's going to get a 10 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of A-list approved. That's right, it gets the A-list. Seal of approval. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. 
But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, the Instagram, and Letterboxd at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.